Chris John for Kojipop.com and this is Photonica uh, on iOS. Hey, it's a game where you run and in one of the modes, like uh, like this mode, uh, you, you run without stopping. Um, that's an original thing, right? But despite there being like loads of endless runners around, uh, this, this is a really good endless runner. Um, it's a first person dealie. And you hold the uh, you hold the screen to run. It's just one input. You release to jump, and then like you you push it again to come to a sort of sharper stop in midair and drop down, not vertically but close closer to it, uh, depending on your momentum. And as you can tell, it looks bloody awesome. And it's fast, and you run, and you jump, and a platform hits you in the face, and you fall down with a rubbish score. Um, one thing that I like a little bit about this game but that's gonna kind of probably influence my play here is that you can actually play this in portrait or in landscape. Um, but yeah, I'm playing landscape just because it means there, there isn't uh, quite so... Uh, quite such big black bars um, on either side of the video here, but also... I just think, just because it's an endless runner, whenever I see an endless runner, I typically play in uh, portrait mode. And so it's slightly throwing me off a little bit. Um, just because it does look, I mean, it, it scales really well um, either way. So that, um, you know, it, it fills up the screen, but it means when you're in landscape, you get more of the background. And that's actually slightly distracting. That's a terrible jump. It's really fast. It reminds me, kind of, of Mirror's Edge, because you see the guy running, and like, first first platform, or you get to see the guy or the girl, actually, your voice actually cycles through male and female voices when he jumps and goes, Ugh, and gets smacked in the face by a thing, and goes, ow, and then falls, and you should go, ah, and dead. Uh, reminds me a lot of Mirror's Edge. Um, because usually first pa person platforming is rubbish and in Mirror's Edge first person platforming was really good and partly part of that was because you could see your hands all the time so you had that sense of body and a sense of your body where it is and a sense of place and um, much like Mirror's Edge here the shit uh, <laughs> so I was getting really good so when it goes when it goes all golden, then suddenly you speed up, but you get an awful lot more points, and that's what you want to do because uh, your gold score racks up there. Um, yeah, but also like as with Mirror's Edge, the camera is is really good, and that's really important. You have just the right amount of head bob, and also when you're making jumps, the camera dips a little bit, so you know where you are just dips subtly enough so you know exactly where you are on the platform and that shit is of vital importance because you're holding the screen to, to go faster and then you're releasing to, to jump and it gets really 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 important to um, to conserve the momentum that you have you want to be going just fast enough and you want to run right to the edge of the platform sometimes uh, so that you're sure to make the jumps, except in some places where um, your target's significantly shorter, and then you have to hold down on the screen, and I got smacked in the face again, uh, to make sure you drop quicker. But yeah, so that, I'm rubbish at this, I'm rubbish at the uh, endless runner thing, so it kind of says, once you get to 20,000 points in that, you unlock the next stage. Um, I am clearly not good enough to do that. So let's uh, let's go back to the menu here. Um, the real attraction though here though is in arcade, and here it's just it's auto running, but it's not endless running. So you have um, consistent. You know, I mean, you, you you just it's one track, and you've got to make it to the end of the thing. And um, here, just the levels look so spectacular. This is um, just the first stage here. I'm gonna take a look at, and right away, like you've you've got this sense of place or the uh, 
Freeman just hitched up on the capture there. But um, you've, there's a sense of place to everything. You're not just running through abstract landscapes, but it's sort of, um, you know, it's, it's these, not vectorized, but ray traced um, versions. It's just all these, these harsh lines, but of, uh, you know, but of legitimate places. You're running across this, these train tracks and stuff. And it just goes really, really fast. What you want to do in the arcade mode here, whoa, it goes really fast, really hit the face. What you want to do in the arcade mode here is run really, really fast and get to the end of the level, obviously, but also pick up these purple dots because they give you a ton more points. Uh, so it's it's all about, you know, just, just running really fast and then getting as many points as you can. And run along train tracks and then it goes all golden and it goes, ah, I'm going really quick, I'm going really quick, I'm going far too quick for the, uh, the frame rate on the capture to keep up, so sorry about that. But uh, be assured that this is this is running really, really fast, probably in 60 frames. I don't know YouTube's not in 60 frames, so there, all my missing, anyway. Um, so yes, yes, and then uh, it, it just looks, it looks even more, it goes progressively, the levels get progressively um, more kind of awesome looking, so if we go uh, to the one that I'm stuck at now, which is really bloody hard, but really bloody gorgeous. Um, here you're running through a sequence of corridors and you get doors opening and things like that as you go. And you're running across like these apartment buildings and through flats and stuff. And it looks flipping amazing. And yeah, just, just sort of very mirror's edge in the Tron universe in a way. Um, just the, the look of the game is, is absolutely brilliant um, and it's responsive as well and like I said, um, let me try that. Uh, first person platforming, very very difficult to, to pull off. Uh, first person endless running I think, very difficult to pull off. Um, but this does it really really well and it also has uh, some pretty cool music while you're at it and I always screw that jump up, always screw that jump up. See these levels are the same every time, so um, you know it's it's a matter of kind of memorization. But also there are different lines through. Um, I don't think a, a good endless runner feels like a racing game in many way, or a good auto runner feels like a racing game. Um, in the there should be different paths uh, that you can take that are all valid, as opposed to having oh hey you turned left where you should turn right you're dead. Um, it it should be you know as branching as possible, and despite the fact you know much like the the um, auto running Rayman games, you can take different paths through this level. There is a feeling of exploration in a way um, because there are these different sort of tiers in terms of height, um, and you know you, you really get a feeling that there's there's different paths through, and you want to pick the optimum line of first of all what's the most achievable for me, um, what can get me through a stage. Shit. See, I'm always tempted to get those dots in that bit there, and that sends me on this lower level where I'm doomed. So I'm not exactly sure what to do after that. Um, but I love, I love like these, these, the animations and the, and the fact that you know this stage in particular just just feels an awful lot more um, dynamic, I guess. Um, I think if anything, that is one point where the, the game could be even awesomer. I guess um, it would be cool if you were running along the train tracks in that first stage there, and then there was this um, you know incredibly frightening. Um, ray traced uh, actual train coming after you. I think that would, that would be really sweet. So I do have to make that drop. Mm. Um, you know, it, it would be cool if there were like uh, tons of you know if there were these little scripted events running through here because uh, I just love the fact like presenting these uh, kind of realistic spaces, but in this very abstract way is is really 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 gorgeous and I really 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 needed to be on that platform below but then I really 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 needed to jump a lot higher. Mm.
Oh, I haven't been down here before. Okay, right, 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 right. Some bits kind of... There's some sections of, of each stage that actually kind of... Um, you mantle in a weird way. Uh, they actually propel you upwards. I made the same mistake before, didn't I? And like any good, uh, really difficult uh, auto runner or any good, really good, difficult platformer, um, your deaths are always your fault. And that's a difficult thing to pull off when you're in first person to kind of make these these platforming stages feel fair. Um, this, is a, this is a dismal performance. Come on. The defense as ever is that I'm talking while I'm playing, and that's probably what's doing me in. Make it, make it, make it. Yes. No, oh, no. I think as well, like the uh, the fact that obviously there is probably a way of making a perfect line that sees you getting all of those pink dots and getting the the perfect ten thousand point score on every stage. Um, but it's ah, shit. Like, the, the game puts those dots in such a way that you're tempted to drop down uh, in the air faster. But if you do that, A, you might miss those dots anyway. Um, but most importantly, you would lose the momentum that you really, really need. That smack me in the face. Let's get the full ring. Let's do it. 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 It's got a... As you can tell by the fact that <laughs> this this video is, is running past its its natural progression. Um, ah, what the hell? Why can't I even do this jump anymore? Um, it's got that uh, one more try kind of philosophy to it. Um, I also like the the sort of slight you can see around the periphery, like these occasional. Color blurs. It almost feels like this should be uh, in 3D on red, green, red, blue, red, green. Are they green or blue? I don't know. Do they even exist? Uh, 3D glasses, you know. Um, no, it's better. It's still bad. I'm always failing at the same point, so you know. I think that's where I need to be better. I just need to do something different. So you see what I mean? Like, um, crap. Uh, you know, you can probably do better just by perhaps inadvertently finding a route and then saying, oh, that's probably a better route for me. So if I drop down here this time and mantle up. You know what else this reminds me of? It reminds me of like uh, a lot of early 3D games, um, you know, early polygonal games, early first person games. Um, Reminds me a lot of Robocop 3. There were these first person sections. Um, if you dig around and look through our back catalog, you can find a video on Robocop 3. Um, there was this, this crazy ambitious um, for the time and, and for a movie license. Um, it's, it's, you know, it had these crazy ambitious uh, first person sections. Uh, and I always, I always know I should drop down to that platform. And it always screws up for me. Okay. A couple more and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it here. Just yes, 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 yes! See, now I'm on the higher level here. And that door's gonna open. And I don't know what's going next. And that's a, a text from my own Marcelo Brown. Um, so he's earned a tiny bit of non fame Yeah, so uh, I don't think we're going to do this here. I'm going to call it having done my best performance on this this level despite being awful. Um, but yes, that's uh, it's Photonica on iOS that I don't typically like Endless Runners, um, but I really like this one. Um, it's nicely done, there's no in-app purchase um, BS to deal with, it's uh, three bucks gets you everything, which is uh, seven levels at the moment, uh, which you can play in normal or hard, uh, which I haven't even tried, an endless mode, also a versus mode, uh, so let's try this in me one versus me two fashion, um, because this is same device multiplayer versus. So uh, imagine this, right? 
you've got to hold your phone in uh, in portrait mode here, and then it's it's split down the middle. Um, so it's a split screen dealy, and you can fall and die as much as you want, but then. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it costs you time, obviously, to do that and then get respawned so you can see the other guy. And it's a racing game, and I'm trying to play both sides at once here, and it's, it's screwing with my brain, but it looks hell awesome doing it. And really smooth, uh, really smooth. Like, I think as fast, and again, this is probably isn't something that comes through well on video, um, but it it's... I think as as pretty much as smooth as as the main game is, um, which is surprising. I think, uh, but I mean, I think it definitely has a few sort of visual elements stripped away for for split screen as as kind of happens. Um, but uh, yeah, a really interesting other thing as well. If you've got a like-minded friend that's into that, they're really cool looking endless runners. Um, and they can play this if they like. Whoa, I'll play this. Got to land down there. Um, so yeah, for Tonica iOS, um, it's out right now. It's three bucks, I think. Um, oh man! If you don't touch the controllers, it does this. It just gives you this panoramic view of like awesomeness. That's amazing. Just look at that. Slip in that. Um, there will be a full written review on uh, kaijupop.com in the near future, just know right now that I really, really like this game and uh, you should probably give it a shot. Um, you know, if nothing else, because just look at it, it looks really, really cool. Um, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Bye!